Welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and uh, he is back for the weekend in Destiny 2, and he comes bearing gifts or exotics and legendaries in exchange for legendary shards. You can pick up exotics you don't have, including weapons and armor. Well, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content, and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch This Week in Video Games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Right, let's check out and see where Zer is on the 3rd of June, 2022. Opening up the map here, you can see that Zer this weekend is on Nessus, so land here by Watcher's Grave, hop on your sparrow, go over here, you will find a tree, head under that tree, and there you will find Zer. Let's check out and see what Zer's got for us this week. For the weapon, we've got the Cold Heart Trace Rifle. For the Hunters, we've got the Oath Keeper. That is a 59 roll. Pretty good recovery on that. For the Titans, we've got the Ashen Wake. That is a very, very good solar piece of armor there. Good for solar builds as well for all the Titans. Has a 64 overall. Got a plus 18 on recovery. 14 on strength. Not too bad, not too bad. And finally, for the Warlocks, we've got the Astrocyte Verse. Has a 60 roll overall. Not bad resilience on that with plus 16. Those are your exotics for the week. But you can also check out the exotic engram. You pick this one up to get a World Drop exotic weapon or piece of army you haven't got yet. So if you're missing something from these lists, pick it up and see what you get. Loads of good stuff in here. So we've got the Arbalist. That is an excellent linear fusion rifle. We've got the Trinity Ghoul. Brilliant combat bow. Got the two tailed fox. Loads and loads of really, really good stuff. Let's check out the exotic loot in a little bit more detail, starting off with the cold heart. This one comes with cold fusions. The weapon shoots a steady cold fusion powered arc laser, dealing more damage the longer it remains on a target. That's probably going to be good for next season. Especially with the Arc 3.0 rework coming up. Well, next up then we've got the Oath Keeper. These are for the Hunters. This one comes with the Armor Perk Adamantine Brace. The bows charged can be held indefinitely. If you like bows, the Oath Keeper are really, really good. Next up we've got the Ashen Wake for the Titans. This is really, really good for Solar 3.0 builds. This one comes with Bring the Heat. So fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain an increased throw speed. And final blows with fusion grenades grant grenade energy. So I reckon there's going to be loads of really, really good Ashen Wake Solar 3.0 builds out there. I'm yet to try and test out on my Titan. I know there has been some previous good builds with Solar and Ashen Wake, so I definitely recommend picking these up if you are a Titan. Finally, then we've got the Astrocyte Verse. They are for the, or this is for the Warlocks, I should say. This one comes with the Armor Perk Move to Survive, so blink further and more frequently. And weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up. Well, that's the exotic loot for now. Next up, let's have a look at the legendary weapons. So we're going to kick off with Lonesome. This one comes with Outlaw and Swashbuckler. That is a kinetic sidearm. Not too bad that roll, pretty good for PvE actually. Then we've got False Promises next, another kinetic weapon. This one is a kinetic auto rifle. Comes with Threat Detector and Sympathetic Arsenal. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Then we've got the Chrysura Mellow. That one comes with Ensemble and Harmony. That is an Energy Solar Auto Rifle. That one comes from Season of the Lost. Pretty good range stat on that one. I think I'm going to give that a pass. Then we've got the Long Shadow. So this one comes with Firmly Planted Rampage. This is a Kinetic Sniper Rifle. It's going to be pretty good for PvE content with Rampage in there. And we've got another Season of the Lost Weapon. Well, well, well. We've got the Iota Draconis. This is very, very popular back in Season of the Lost. This one comes with Under Pressure and Kickstart. Oh, I think this is going to be a pretty good roll. So Under Pressure improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. You've got Kickstarts, the gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide for sprinting for a short duration. 
one does look very good indeed. Next up, we got Honor's Edge. This one comes with Energy Transfer and Shattering Blade. I think I'll give that one a pass. And finally, we have a former Nightfall Weapon. This one comes with the Swarm, and look at that. We've got Surplus and Vorpal Weapon. That is a very decent roll indeed. So Surplus, increased handling, reload speed and stability for each fully charged ability. And you've got Vorpal Weapons, so increased damage against bosses, vehicles and guardians in their super. That is going to be a really, really good roll. Definitely recommend picking that one up if you haven't got a good swarm just yet. Well, those are the legendary weapons. Next up, let's have a look at the legendary armor. Let's have a look at the set for the week. The Substitutional Alloy set. Have a look at that one, see what it looks like. I like it. Kind of old school. I can't remember which season this was from. You have to remind me down there in the comments. But this is the Warlock set. For the gloves, we've got a 60 roll. Pretty good recovery there. Have a look at the robes. That's a 65 roll. That is really, really good. Really good spread. So mobility, recovery, intellect and strength all over plus 10. For well, the helmets, a 57. Not quite as good. Good intellect, good recovery. And finally for the boots, 57 again. Not too bad recovery at plus 16. And that is your legendary armor for the week. Well, next up, let's have a look at our random rolled exotic weapons. Starting off with the Hawkmoon. This one comes with hip fire grip. If you like shooting from the hip, this week's Hawkmoon could be for you. Then we've got Dead Man's Tail, and this one comes with Vorpal Weapon. So this one is a favorite, fan favorite. For increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. This one is excellent for both PvE and PvP content. Well, that is going to be it from Where Is Zer on the 3rd of June 2022. And Zer's going to be hanging around Destiny 2 until reset on Tuesday. So if you want to pick up any of the exotics or the legendaries, go ahead and find him on Nessus and trade in those legendary shards. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon and have a great weekend.